Here's your uh, orientation video of your 2021 Grey Wolf uh, 26 DBH bunkhouse. Uh, you got your power jack on the front. That'll raise and lower with that button, and then there's a light switch right above it. Uh, two 20-pound propane tanks. These are both full and ready to go. And how this works is this will point to the tank that you run off initially. When that tank runs empty, um, that'll turn from green to red and switch over. So if you, you're pointing here and it's uh, red, you've already switched over. If it's green, you're still in the first tank. And then we got your battery up front. Here's your water heater. Um, this can run off gas or electric. If you want it to run off electric, it's uh, switched here. If you want it to run off propane, uh, propane, there's a switch inside for propane. So electric switch outside, propane switch inside. So setting the camper up, once you back it up on your site, uh, first thing you want to do is uh, level it side to side. And to do that, you place something under the wheels and that'll block the low side up. So maybe if you want to carry a two by eight by three feet, that'll fit under both tires and that'd probably be a good idea. So if it's off side to side, drive up on a piece of wood. And then once you're level side to side, unhook it. You can run the jack up and down to, to do front to back. Once you're square, then you'll crank these jacks down and that'll give you some stability. You can also use like a um, quarter uh, cordless drill with a three quarter inch socket. Slide outs, make sure you're cleaning the debris off the top of them before you bring it in. If you have any sticks or anything up there, you wanna make sure that stuff's gone. City water connections to the right, hook your hose up, turn it on, you run off the pressure from the hose. Um, otherwise you take the cap off and you fill the tank up and you can take all that water with you. Here's your 30 amp power hookup. Comes with a 15 amp adapter, so if you want to plug it in at home, you can. This is your sewer hookup, so the black gate valve on the right is for the toilet. So you want to um, hook your sewer hose up, complete that connection, pull the gate valve on the right, and that'll dump it. Once you're dumped, you close it, and then you pull the one on the left, that's the gray water, and that'll rinse everything out for you. Got a travel rack on the back, that'll flip down, you just repin it. This one's wired for backup camera, so it's uh, like I said, it's pre-wired for it. There's just a little plug behind that cover. So it's about a five minute job to plug a camera in and the monitor's wireless. That plugs right into the cigarette lighter. Here's your other jacks, dog leash. Um, this is your black tank flush. So after you block, uh, dump the black tank, you want to keep that gate valve open and you can clean out that tank. Just make sure your valve's open when you're flushing out the black tank. Shut the hose off, close the black. And uh, there is no rinse for the gray. Again, just make sure your black gate valve is open when you flush that tank. We got the wheels torqued at 120 foot pounds. You should probably check it a few more times once you get it, just to make sure. There's cable TV, or there's antenna and cable output for your TV and the DVD player hookup. And there's plugins. And then the TV has a similar bracket, so you just drop it in outside and you can, uh, you can watch TV outside if you want. Here's your outside camp kitchen. Uh, refrigerator runs off electricity. Got a couple burners. Um, this quick connect here will plug into that quick connect right underneath there. And you run off the main tanks. Got an ice maker and then an outside shower. The uh, awning's powered and there's some blue LED lights underneath it. And the button for that is here. You can extend or retract the awning. Make sure your door is out of the way. This will tell me the battery level and that shows it's two thirds full. Fresh water tank is full. Your black and gray water is empty. Um, water pump is for the tank. So if you filled up the fresh water tank, then you want to use the pump. If you're hooked up to the city water, you don't need it. That is the propane switch for the water heater. And everything's labeled main lights. And you got your slide room in and out. And then you got your awning button we just pressed. So with the slide, you want to make sure there's nothing in the way. Um, this one, it looks like really the only thing that could be left is something that was left on the floor or that ladder sticking out that would do it too. Battery disconnect. If you're not using it and you have it stored somewhere, turn the key and remove it. That'll disconnect your power. 
And there's your voltage. All your breakers are to the left and all your fusible items are to the right. So if you have any issues, this would be the first thing I'd check. And if a fuse, a light will come on. So if you walk by and you see a light on, you know you got a blown fuse. Refrigerator's 12 volt. That runs right off the solar panel and the battery. So unless it's disconnected, the refrigerator's always gonna be on. Push and hold and then rotate the piezo and that'll ignite all three burners. So it'll light the one you turn the gas on. So again, turn it to high, press and hold. And as you're holding it, rotate the piezo and that works as well as for the oven. Push hold, spin the piezo. Fireplace runs off electricity. Um, it does kick out some heat and it turns red, white, or blue. Radio, Bluetooth, USB hookups. You have a mail bracket that goes for the back of the TV. You can drop in here and there's your audio video hookups. Hope this video helps. Of course, if you guys need anything, you can always give me a call. Thank you.